welcome back to my channel. As you can tell from the title today, I'm back. Well, actually, I say that and I don't know what I'm titling this yet because last time I called it a random haul, and then the time before that I called it a things I bought recently haul. So I'm not too sure which one I'm going to go with today. It's like I need to pick between the two. But hopefully, you'll know what I'm talking about with this video, whatever I'm going on about in this intro, because you've hopefully seen these videos of mine before. But if you haven't, there's something like stuck in my throat. I had like um crunchy nut cluster type things for my breakfast and I think I've got like an oat stuck in my throat and it's like a bit scratchy but anyway I can't remember what I was literally just talking about but um basically today's video is a random haul so it's basically me showing you things that I've bought recently that don't fit into like a Zara haul or a H&M haul they're just like random bits from like random different brands and places if that makes sense so that is today's video make sure you follow me over on Instagram and TikTok as well because I post lots of content on there it'll be on the screen here and the username is the same for both of them and without me blabbering on anymore I'm just going to get straight on with the video and we're going to start with this which isn't it's rad I'm just going to start with this I'll explain this in it no I, mm, let me just start with this okay the first thing is this t-shirt which I actually got from Redbubble I've never ordered anything from there before but I basically saw um, a girl on TikTok wearing this t-shirt it's rolled up because that's how I have all of my like slogan t-shirts like these I have rolled them up because then I can see what's on each of them rather than folding them anyway you didn't need to know that um but I got this off Redbubble because I saw a girl on TikTok wearing this top and I tried to find it everywhere and the only place I could find it was on Redbubble so I ordered it and it was absolutely fine so that was the first time we ordered from there never really heard of it but it worked but anyway it's this white t-shirt I got this in an extra large because as you probably know with me I like to size up my t-shirts to wear them as a t-shirt dress and it's like this new balance one so it's got a new balance 990 shoe on it and it says one on fashion there's a hair on it that's my hair so it's okay but there's still a hair on it but yeah it says worn on fashion runways and morning runs because they have like a few of like t-shirts like this with like the 990 um shoes on and slogans to basically say they're like fashion shoes but they're also like running shoes type things and i quite like that i thought it was really cool and like i said i saw it on a girl on tiktok and then to go with it i got these ma not matching but i got these like navy blue um like little gym short type things these are from pretty little thing i got them in a size small because this is kind of like a navy-esque sort of um coloring of the shoe and i also have new balance nine no 530s which are like the navy and silver ones so i thought all together these would tie in really well and look really cute very random like not random because it's clothes but like I don't know where I'm going with that. That that look, that's not random actually. The next thing is so random, but we're just gonna get on with it and I'm just gonna show you it. Next up, I bought a wetsuit. Have I gone slightly insane potentially? So this is a wetsuit. Where am I going with this? So basically, I feel like this needs a little bit of like explanation, a bit of a backstory to this, because there is a backstory. So basically, my mum and dad want to move um to Cornwall in the next few years. They've always wanted to live by the sea, so that's what they want to do. Um and then and then where is that and then going and because of covid and stuff they've not been going on holidays abroad like we normally would so instead they've been going on holidays like cornwall and devon to investigate the area i'm going to cornwall with my parents for a week in september and then like i said they want to move in the next few years and when mum and dad move i was like i want to like do open water not open water swimming because josh said no it is open water swimming i I was calling it freshwater swimming, I think. Anyway, I don't know where I'm going with this. I basically want to, like, do swimming in the sea. I want to get a paddleboard, do paddleboarding and stuff. Um, so I thought, actually, do you know what? It's probably a good idea to get a wetsuit. But I wasn't going to get one now. But then Mum and I went to, like, an outlet village the other day because we were going to the cinema and we just popped in there because the cinema is by the outlet village. This is a really long story. The cinema is by the outlet village. We were going to the cinema to see Elvis. Really good film, by the way. Popped into the outlet village beforehand just to have a wander around. And then we went into Trespass. Um, and they had wetsuits and this was meant to be £99 and it was reduced to £31. I was like, do you know what? I might as well get it now. Like, I'm never going to get a good quality wetsuit for that cheap again. So I might as well just get it now. So that's what I did. And mum got one as well. We got matching. And we got little short ones because mum said then we can wear them like all year round, like summer and winter. And they're just really cute. This is like the most random thing. I did not expect to ever show a wetsuit in a haul. But now I can take this with me when I go to Cornwall on holiday in September. I can do some swimming. I can do 
um, my paddle boarding and stuff. And obviously, like, I love swimming in the sea when it's warm, but obviously when it's cold, it's a little bit different. But this will help because it's something I want to do. I know, like, cold water swimming and stuff is meant to be really good for you, and I really want to get into it. So hence why I got a wetsuit. And then I got this as well to go with it. This one is from Regatta, and I ordered this online. Um, and it's basically a dry rope type thing. So it's basically like a giant coat type thing it's waterproof and it's like maxi like a maxi coat like really long and then on the inside is this gray like almost like fluffy blanket material so what the idea of these is that you can get changed underneath them like i got this in a small slash medium and it's so big on me but you're meant to be able to like so say you've been swimming in the sea okay and you're like swimming in your little wetsuit or you've gone paddle boarding i don't know this is me like with the paddle board but that doesn't really work anyway say you've been in the sea okay in england it's cold you've come out the sea and you're freezing you chuck this on it's going to dry you off and it's going to keep you really warm and then what you can do is you can like take off your wetsuit and your swimming costume underneath and get changed into whatever else you want to get changed into underneath if that makes sense so that is the purpose of this but it kind of doubles up as well because i did think like when i'm walking the dogs if it's raining and i've got to go and walk the dogs this works really well because it'll keep me warm and it's fully waterproof and like i said it literally goes down to like my ankles and if i'm wearing my welly boots and i dog walk it'll work really well so it doubles up really well this was meant to be like 130 pound i think but i got this off ebay but you're like not like second hand it was off like um you know those sellers on ebay that like set like they're like a little shop on ebay i got it from there and it was like 60 pound in set so if anyone i mean i like kind of doubt that there'll be many people watching this video that will be wanting um a dry robe type thing but if you do there we go that's where i got mine from and it was a really good price and it's just black and gray on the inside and then the back says spirit of adventure with this little thing it's the most random thing ever which i know most of you probably won't be interested in so we shall move on now but that is that next up actually from the outlet village as well um i got these from the cadbury shop i saw these and was like you are actually coming like straight home with me like no doubt about it these are little crunchy bits and i love like l-o-v-e capital letters underline bold italic you know the crunchy bits chocolate bar not a big lover of a crunchy the texture like of the honeycomb just kind of cuts my mouth but you know the the block of cadbury chocolate bar with the crunchy bits inside i love that chocolate bar it's probably my second favorite chocolate mm. is it my second favorite chocolate bar i'm not sure marvelous creations is like my favorite chocolate bar because i just love i'm i don't know if it's like something that's wrong with me or something but i love texture like if i so say for example my obsession at the moment for heat bowls at lunchtime and i love them because there's so many different textures going on same with a marvelous creation chocolate bar you've got the jelly you've got the popping candy you've got the crunchy like chocolate shell things i love texture anyway so that's one of my favorite chocolate bar but the crunchy one is not far from the top and these are like the little bits inside the bar and i thought like these would work really well on like um ice cream and like i'm gonna be chucking this on literally everything like crunchy bits here crunchy bits there I, I just love this what a great idea so i got those as well and then i got a hat not from the outlet village we've moved on from that now um this i got for my holiday when i went to italy with josh because i saw this on it's olivia leather on instagram and i was like oh my goodness i want that hat so i literally bought it and it's i literally bought it why did i say that i don't know it's basically this um cream kind of like straw hat with this darker beige band on it and i got it personalized and it says gic and i absolutely love this hat like i'm honestly obsessed with it and it's from the company ha designs and you can get it personalized obviously that's really obvious and they do loads of different things on there like they've got other um, kind of colors of hats and things like that and i absolutely love her and then talking on my holiday to italy i got a couple of souvenirs i did get literally the world's biggest lemon it was about this big but i've cut it up and popped it in the freezer to chuck in gin and tonics and stuff um but i did get that which if you're following on instagram you would have seen so if you're not following on instagram you definitely should so you don't miss out on those things and then i bought my mum and dad a bottle of lemoncello and also some like lemony biscuits as a little gift but they're all downstairs but in terms of what i bought for myself first up i got this little dish because i went to sorrento knowing that i was going to buy a dish of some sort to be honest i thought i was going to buy like a big plate like a serving plate but there just wasn't really any that was grabbing my fancy but i really like this little heart shaped kind of bowl it's like heart shaped but kind of asymmetric in a way and it's got lemons and olives painted in it and it says sorrento and i just thought it was really cute and i thought like for olives i don't eat olives but like when i'm in my own house or whatever if i've got people coming round good little dish to put olives in or to put other little like dips or snacks in 
kind of like a cute little nut or crisp bowl as well i don't know i thought it was cute i just wanted to have like a nice thing to remember it by um so that is what i got and then i did also buy this for my christmas tree because i saw this and instantly was like oh my god i love that so i'm gonna get it and it's this little um christmas tree decoration it's a little lemon and again it says sorrento on it and i just thought that was so so cute i mean you could definitely use this like not as a christmas tree decoration like you could use it all year round if you wanted to but i'm gonna save this for my christmas tree which my christmas tree last year was honestly i loved it so much so i'm so excited this year to put it back together and show you all my decorations on it so that is those then i did actually also get this from outlet village but i forgot to mention it it's just a um fragrance oil from the body shop which you can get um in like non-outlet village things but they just had this there it's a little bit cheaper um and this is the exotic home fragrance oil to put in my diffuser um and it smells like when i showed it to mum and dad they both thought it was bubble gum when they first smelled it because it's kind of like tutti fruity-esque like it's giving me the vibes of a hair product maybe like a hair detangler that my mum used to use on me when i was younger that kind of vibe it's kind of like strawberries mango it's very sweet it's quite a sweet scent i can see why mum and dad thought it was bubble gum but it's like a fruity sweet kind of scent which i really like i mean it could be a little bit overpowering at times but a few little drops here and there not gonna harm anyone you know and then lastly for this random haul i got oh i always dropped them i got these sliders from ego now these Oh, i've dropped it i have dropped it i've gone ahead and dropped it we'll just stay with this one we don't need the other one um they're just these green like khaki green sliders but they're a louis vuitton dupes they've got this like you know the ones that molly may has as soon as she posted them i was like oh my god i love them but i'm definitely not buying them um and then a few months later ego brought these out which are like they're a fairly good dupe you know i think these were literally like 16 pound just to like wear around the house where to run errands in and stuff i really like them they're like nice and squishy little like velcro god my god that is such strong velcro um little like you see and i got these in a five i would potentially size up in them though because i do find they fit a little bit small and they're quite narrow here so if you've got wide feet it's just something to bear in mind because i have like pretty like i don't have wide or narrow feet i've got pretty standard feet and these are quite um narrow on this bit even on me so just something to bear in mind but they're comfy they're just a nice slider i quite like them and for the price as well i don't feel like you can go wrong and actually i have got like a 10 percent like refer a friend ego thing so like i think if i refer you you can save some money so i'll leave that down below and stuff and it's pretty straightforward i remember i posted on my tiktok and a few people have used it and said it worked so i'll leave that down below in case you want to buy these or anything off ego you can save a little bit of money um but yeah that is it for this random haul it's a little bit shorter than previous ones have been um but i kind of just want to show my wetsuit i got my wetsuit on sunday i didn't like i just i've just realized what i've just said i just said i wouldn't show you my wetsuit that sounds really weird but like i just thought we'd do a random haul today okay we didn't need to like build up loads of stuff but anyway that is it for this for the, sorry that is it for this, try again that is it for today's video i hope you enjoyed it Give a thumbs up if you did subscribe down below if you haven't already and i shall see it at some point soon another one bye